sulfonylureas, are known as insulin secretagogues. They work by stimulating insulin secretion from the pancreatic beta cells to decrease postprandial blood glucose. Sulfonylureas is a class of medications that may be prescribed to treat people with type 2 diabetes. The sulfonylureas most commonly used in clinical practice are the second-generation drugs, such as gliburide, glipizide, glimpiride, and sometime talbutamide. Talking about the mechanism of action. Sulfonylureas stimulate insulin release from the beta cells of the pancreas. Sulfonylureas block ADP-sensitive potassium channels present on beta cells, resulting in depolarization, calcium influx, and insulin exocytosis. In addition, sulfonylureas may reduce hepatic glucose production and increase peripheral insulin sensitivity. Pharmacokinetics of sulfonylureas. Given orally, these drugs bind to serum proteins. Metabolized by the liver, and are excreted in the urine and feces. The duration of action ranges from 12 to 24 hours. In case of increased dosage and poisoning with these medications, octreotide is given, which is considered similar to somatostatin, because it works to prevent the release of insulin from the pancreas. Adverse effects of the sulfonylureas include hypoglycemia, hyperinsulinemia, nausea, and weight gain. They should be used with caution in hepatic or renal insufficiency, because accumulation of sulfonylureas may cause hypoglycemia. Sulfonylureas are CYP2C9 substrates, so use caution with drugs that are CYP2C9 inducers or inhibitors. In the end, let's talk about some clinical pearls about sulfonylureas. These drugs are contraindicated in patients with type 1 diabetes, diabetic ketoacidosis, and sulfa allergy. Gliburide has a weakly active metabolite, which is renally cleared, and is not a preferred drug in patients with renal insufficiency. Patients with glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency can be at increased risk of hemolytic anemia with sulfonylureas. Insulin in combination with sulfonylureas may increase risk of hypoglycemia and should be avoided. Lastly, gliburide is the only drug of this class, which is thought to be safe for use during pregnancy, for treatment of gestational diabetes mellitus. So, that was all about the pharmacology of sulfonylureas. Hope you like this video. For more pharmacology pearls, keep sharing and keep supporting us. Thank you.